Hi you guys, it's your girl Tisha Monique here and I wanted to just come on and show you guys how I spot clean my makeup brushes. Now I know if you guys are like me, you cannot always or you don't always clean thoroughly your brushes like on a day to day basis. But you know in between the times it's always good just to go ahead and spot clean your brushes just to make sure that you don't have a lot of build up, makeup and dirt um, in your brushes. It can cause you to have breakouts on your skin because Makeup that's just sitting in your brush and the oil on your skin and if you're touching up your makeup with your brushes and stuff and your skin is not the cleanest then that that leads to dirt and build up in your brushes which is also of course not good for your skin but also not good for your brushes. It does break them down over time. I wanted to show you guys how I spot clean my brushes in between the deep cleanings or the washes so if you're interested in seeing how I spot clean my brushes then just stay tuned. Okay, well let's just jump right in. I'll show you guys that the two products that I mainly use or reach for when I'm spot cleaning is this Mary Kay brush cleaner, which is meant to be like a spot cleaner or daily brush cleaner here. And then I also have this Elf daily brush cleaner, which is very inexpensive and affordable and it does work really well. Really like the fragrance that's with this Mary Kay spray. And I don't think that this was too, too expensive and you get a really big bottle. I've had this for a while because, you know, although I try, I'm not the best at keeping up with my spot cleaning like I should. But as you can see, the bottle is really, really big and let's compare it to like the MAC Fix Plus, the large bottle. So you see you get quite a bit of product if you were to go with this Mary Kay bottle. As you can see, for the most part, all of my brushes here are dirty. And then I have some here that I've been using as well that are also dirty. But at the moment, I'm too lazy to wash my brushes, like, let's be honest. So I said, well, let me at least spot clean them to get out the dirt and the grime. I usually just grab my brushes. I mean, it's not anything major. It's very, very simple, very easy to do. That's why I wanted to show you guys. But I usually just take like all of my smaller brushes. I'll just gather them all up, bunch, as you can see. And I just tap them all down so that they are, you know, all at the same level here. And then what I do is, is I have just a roll of paper towel. And I'm just going to have my paper towel handy there. So I'm just going to, you know, put that there. I'm going to take my Mary Kay spray that I told you guys about here. And I'm just going to saturate these brushes. I'm going to spray them enough to where they are actually like wet. Not just a little squirt or whatever, but I'm really getting these babies wet as if, you know, they have been in water. Let that sit for just a minute. Take my paper towel and just one by one, I just kind of run the paper towel over the brush. As you can see, it does remove the dirt off. And I kind of just squeeze, pressing, squeezing the brush and kind of fanning it out a little bit making sure that I'm getting in there but not tearing up the brush because it's not like super wet. So I'm just trying to make sure that I get the product, all of the spray out, the cleaner out. And then I just wipe down the handle like that. And then I just sit it aside. So I'm just gonna set my smaller ones in there until I get done. So I repeat, I kinda just make sure to go in the bristles, fan them out a little bit like that. Then squeeze it between the napkin and then I also wipe the brush itself down to remove you know the dirt and stuff and all of that stuff when you are doing your makeup how you get makeup on there so it still feels a little bit damp but they will definitely dry um, it'll take no time to dry so I just do that to each brush you guys now these angle brushes and stuff that you're applying eyeliner with which is a little bit thicker product I usually will spray that just maybe a second time just to get to make sure that I'm removing as much debris off of there as I can. I mean, you're not gonna bring these back to squeaky clean or as clean as if they were, you know, freshly washed, all the way washed and with water and soap and stuff. But you at least wanna make sure that you get the majority of the dirt and the grime out of them. So I do this to all of the brushes, pretty much, and then I wipe it down. Of course, you do need to deep cleanse your brushes and actually wash them out periodically. I mean, just depending on how frequently you do your makeup, how frequently you use your brushes will determine how frequently you need to actually 
you know, do your deep cleansing versus just a spot clean. But you should at least be spraying your brushes per the directive of the products and just to keep the germs and stuff at bay is on a daily basis. So this is more of a, I would say a thorough spot cleaning that I'm doing. Spray and spray your brushes down each time after you use them. Just to spray them and then put them back in your holder or wherever you're keeping your brushes. But at least that, that way, you know, you are getting the dirt. But I have been bad about it, you guys. I will be honest. So I need to kind of do a little bit more of a thorough daily clean on these brushes. Just to make sure that um, until I get my lazy butt and wash them out, that they are at least still up to par to be putting on my face and using on my skin so that I don't see any breakouts and so that my brushes are not getting all really built up with product and just to a point where when I do wash them, they're just going to be like very, very hard to wash and clean and just, you know, it can tear, damage your brushes and kind of tear them up wear them out faster. They're not gonna perform as well either if they are just full of makeup and gunk and stuff. So you do wanna still try to get that flawless face, you guys. So make sure you are doing this. I just set those in this holder by themselves, my smaller brushes. I also do like all my brushes that I've used and that needed. And I also do like my eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, eyebrow brushes, these. I mean, they are having product on them so they do need to be wiped down as well. So now I'm gonna move on. That's all of my small brushes that can at least, you know, still function with um, out having to be fully washed. So the ones that can still stand it, I've cleaned them up, which are all of these beauties. And they look good, looking good. So now I'm gonna move on to the bigger brushes. I have a new napkin here, and I'm just using paper towel, but you guys can use whatever you want to use. Or a towel, like a soft towel or whatever, but I'm just using paper towel. And I am just spraying these down. Like I said, you want to make sure to saturate these. There we go. Saturate these. Okay. And so I let that sit for a minute. And I'm just going to quickly spray these other ones down. guys are interested in seeing my makeup brush collection and learning like what I use each brush for, which brands I recommend, and all of that good stuff, then just leave that in the comment section below and I will be happy to film that for you guys. Come in here after the brushes have kind of had a chance to let that product sit on there. And I'm just going to do the brush like that. Because that is soft, it's gentle, I'm handling the brush very, very soft because I don't want to, you know, like cause it to shed unnecessarily or anything like that. And then I'm kind of just tapping that on there for my larger brushes. The same way that you apply product, you know, is the same way that you should um, treat it when you are taking the product off. So then I just squeeze a little bit. I'm not going against the grain with my br bristles, like I'm not wiping this like just crazy, like going down or anything. I'm just kind of very gently babying my bristles. And then I'm just gonna wipe off the handle. And as you guys can see, it did remove some product. So yes, that would have been in the brush. It affects your color, unless you have something to remove the color before you are switching, you know, from one look to the other. And that feels like a clean brush to me. The bristles are nice and soft fluffy and I think it's good to go now this makeup holder you guys I did get this from pretty girls and it just is a really nice one because it fits a lot of my bigger brushes like handle wise and um, I really really like it I can hold a lot of brushes there and then this was the one I was using before but um, it just was too small to hold all of my large brushes so this one works really good it takes up a lot of space on my vanity but it's okay because, I mean, these are all brushes that I'm using 
pretty much on a daily basis um, because they're out. So it's been working well so far. I just added it to my vanity. So I'm just trying to see how it's going to go. But anyway, so far so good. So I'm just continuing to do the same process on these brushes. And this is one that I use for contour. So you can see that it has a lot of product in there. A very dark product. So it probably has quite a bit of buildup. So it's a good thing that I'm spraying these down. I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt, of course, to go in and do my deep cleansing on this brush. But um, for the most part, you know, if you are doing sanitizing on anything, I mean, it's better than nothing. So just imagine if I just say, oh, no, I'm just going to continue to wait. Product continues to build up in the brushes, damaging the bristles, and then also transferring all of that debris and just build up and grind onto my skin. So no, this is definitely helpful and definitely a must if you don't wash your brushes out as frequently as you know that you should. I'm just going to kind of wiggle this back and forth on the paper towel the same way that I would apply makeup. My highlighter is what I use this for mostly and I am just rubbing that across but not where it's just splaying a brush out and tearing up the bristles again and then I'm just squeezing it. I mean these are not going to be squeaky clean you guys. I mean unless you don't have a lot of product on them maybe you caught them early but if you know you need to wash your brushes out and you want to just do like a quick fix or a temporary fix I should say then this is going to be your best bet. So it's still going to leave a little bit of product. I mean, don't keep thinking you have to wipe, wipe, wipe until the paper towel is clean because that's probably not going to be realistic unless, like I said, you haven't really used the brush much. But yeah, I'm just going and doing the same thing on this brush because, you know, if, it's t if the brush is full of debris, it's not going to apply your product that good anyway and at, so if at any time you guys you are cleaning your brush and you realize like hey this is still looking like not fluffy it doesn't feel like it has any life back in it after you're cleaning it then just go ahead and put that like to the side and go ahead and give that a, a quick deep cleansing like with your soap with your water and everything because it doesn't do any good to know that it's not you know soft and fluffy like it should be because that's what applies your product the best if it's looking crazy still or really hard or um, just not right, you guys, then don't put it back in your your clean stash or the ones that you're going to use further. Just go ahead and set that aside and clean it or save it for later if you are able to. But um, yeah, so this one I'm just tap, tap, tapping. It's another contour brush. So yeah, it's going to appear to have a lot of product in it and it probably does because I have not spot cleaned this in a while, like I said but um the contours that i use of course are pretty dark so i know you got i don't want you guys to be like damn girl your brushes are so nasty because they're not it's just that you know for my for my contour i'm using like an nw55 or 56 so it's going to be pretty pretty dark but i know that my brush is okay to use because it looks soft again it is soft again it feels soft again so i know i could at least go another week with this brush and i will try to be a little more diligent with spraying it um, in between my cleaning so next weekend I do plan to get in here do a deep cleaning on my brushes really get them nice and fresh and everything like that and I will definitely share that with you guys if you're interested in seeing how I clean my brushes then definitely leave that in the comment section below and how often do you guys clean your brushes like let me know because I'm interested I know it varies for everybody okay you guys so now here are all of my spot clean brushes I went ahead and set them up and the way that I think I'm going to utilize this acrylic organizer is by brush type so as you can see that I've got like my big powder brushes here I've got um you know like all of like my face brushes here I've got my contour brushes I've got some more contour brushes, just the, the flat ones. I've got my um, blush brushes, and I've got my fan brushes, and then I've got like all of my eye brushes here in this little divider. So, so I'm still kind of playing with it to see like how I wanna do the setup, because like I said, I'm just now starting to use this new acrylic organizer. So let me pan back so you guys can see how it looks up here on the top. So yeah, this is what it's looking like 
um, on my little setup. So this is it, you guys. They do still look a little bit brown, as you can see, because of course with my coloring, then my products are a lot darker than what others may be used to. So it's not gonna come all the way back to white. I mean, unless you haven't used it that much, like my blush brush here is white haired and I hadn't used this too much. Um, so I didn't have a lot of products. So it is almost back to white. And this fan brush here is the newest one I put in. So it's not as bad as like that one. But I do feel comfortable and confident that my brushes are clean. They're disinfected and I feel okay. I feel comfortable using them again. So I just wanted to show you guys a very handy way and clever way to go about cleaning your brushes in between cleanings just to keep them sanitized, disinfected, and prevent breakouts and damaging your brushes. So you see they're fluffy and it's gonna pick up the product really good and place it really good on the skin. As opposed to if they were heavy, weighted down, full of product and not gonna perform at all the way you want them to, which results in a not great application of your makeup. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I hope you're enjoying my more vanity, hands-on type series where I'm sharing with you guys a little bit more about my routines, my setup, how I function, how I get my life, so yes. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.